What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the Journey Podcast. If you are here, subscribe. The goal is still 10K before the end of the year. You need 2,500 more. Like, comment, do the thing. Um, put your post notifications on. We're going to start dropping more frequently, two times a week until the end of the year and past that. Um, this episode, always brought to you by Evermore. Mm -hmm. Cousin's enjoying his right now. It's so good. Um, so good. Yeah, shout out to Evermore. Best water in the game. Um, also want to give a quick shout out to magic mind. Uh, they sent us some product cousin has his right there. Bang. There it is. Um, yeah, it's a good product, bro. I, I enjoyed taking it. Um, I took it every morning with my caffeine. Like, uh, I would drink it, uh, with my pre-workout before right, I went right. to the gym. Uh, got me feeling good. Has matcha, aptogens, nootropics, uh, and immunity boosting. Uh, tastes really good. I felt focused. It was almost like a pre-workout enhancer. Yeah. That's what this thing was. Yeah, no. enhancer. No, yeah, this is a really good product, bro. I felt, yeah, I felt good on it. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed, I enjoyed using it. Um, I love the branding. It makes me happy. It's like a, like a little kid, a little kid scribbled on it. Yeah, no, no. The, uh, yeah, it looks really cool. Game with the, with the magic mind. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, no, this is a, yeah, really good product. Mm -hmm. um, Dreams do come true. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> that means. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yo, we're back. It's been uh, been about a month since we really ran an internal ep at night. Our day eps always suck. Uh, that one got fucked up because they used to be good. Uh, well, not they were they, never really great. They always get messed up. Yeah, they always it was either out of focus. Yeah. We didn't hit the record button. Yeah, uh, you know. And then the last one, Premiere has been kicking my ass the past week and a half. Apologies for people that have been watching Spotify, um, on YouTube. The last, you know, been a little choppy, been a little choppy. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro. We were trying to my my Premiere on the computer messing up, but uh, figured it out. So that shouldn't be a problem anymore. We're back, first time in about a month. Nighttime yep. episode feels good. Uh, how we doing? Um. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty fucking good. I'm 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 pretty good. Yeah, life is life is good. Um, certainly for me, I I've been I've been. Uh, I you know you know it's funny. Three months ago, for me, the only thing I really cared about was growing closer to God, and like that means a bunch of different things. That means becoming more peaceful. That means. Um, enjoying being grateful for the things that I have and you know not need not wanting more and um just becoming content you know and uh the things that I was focused on in my everyday life was more so just the shit we always talk about the yeah. meditation the book reading the blah 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 uh but there's only so much of that you can do um I caught a crazy sprint around two months ago obviously the listeners know where I just became crazy obsessed with doing something again, you know, whereas like all the meditation was, there was like a, a lack of doing. Um, around two months ago, I, I caught some pretty, uh, pretty, a pretty big inspiration called a realization from God that um, gave me a bunch of clarity and direction and steps forward and, um, you know, started taking the YouTube more serious. And I, uh, I look at where I'm at now, I'm, I'm two videos in, um, I'm kicking fucking ass, like, like fucking really kicking ass. Um, yeah, I mean, I got, I got nothing, I got nothing but good things to say. You know, now, now I'm kind of in a place where I, I called a two month sprint. I realized that us men, bro, um, we we need to build. We're builders. We want to build. I mean, at least for me, like I, I personally, like I just love and same way. I know, I know you as well exchange the word build for grind we need something to grind at we need a mission we need a purpose jordan peterson we need to fucking aim at some shit you know um that was something that we've been missing for a long time we thought it was going to be the podcast and then it turns out the podcast didn't require that much out of us um so uh for me you know the thing that i'm working on now is just getting back into my spiritual state and combining the two you know, I'm so all or nothing. It's the way I've been for so fucking long. Um, I just feel this crazy momentum and I like, you know, it's actually been therapeutic building. And what I mean by building is like, I'm, I'm just studying YouTube all day. I'm like, you know, planning, strategizing and creating content. And I don't know. There's so much, there's so, there's so many things. 
But uh, you know, past couple of days, uh, got back in, got back in the books, uh, got back in the books. Uh, listen to you know some people podcast again, and definitely can tell that um, over the next week I'm gonna want to transition into a more fifty uh, fifty season of my life, a little bit more, a little bit of building and a little bit of uh, God, divine yeah. divinity, you know. So that's how I feel. But good though, happy. How how, how you feeling? Um, yeah, I'm okay. I uh, yeah, I'm still. Um... You told me you're going through it before the episode. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that's kind of what I wanted to get into mm-hmm. of um, where like being mentally tough and being mentally strong has always been an attribute of mine. And, and, it, and it has taken me very far, but um, it can also be deceiving and it, and it can be uh, it can be dangerous at times because there's a lot of times where um, deep down, I probably am not doing that well. Mm-hmm. But because I've built such strong mental fortitude and mental strength over the years, I can convince myself that I'm okay. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's nothing. Like, I'll be good. Mm -hmm. And uh, you do that for a long enough period of time, you almost sometimes, like, forget how you're actually feeling. And then if you don't cater to what is going on in your mind, uh, it can get dark. And for me, that has been a little bit of a struggle where... I keep telling myself, you know, you're fine, you know, you'll get through this stuff like that. And then uh, there has been points where I I do still feel a little lost, like outside of the podcast. Like I still feel a little lost. I feel there is something missing Mm -hmm. and I've been trying to get it probably from the wrong places. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has just been a little bit of a struggle of mine, especially just like with my own mind. Um, I've been listening to Think Like a Monk Again by Jay Shetty. Oh, nice. And uh, one of the chapters, I believe it's chapter seven, is the mind. And I mean, bro, I mean, the stuff he says in that, it's like out of this world. Like every single thing, you're just like, oh, my God. Like everything just clicks. And um, he talked about the mind as, you know, obviously it can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Mm. And he was like, he spoke about how... In your mind, there there's two wolves. One wolf resembles anger, you know, jealousy, hate. The other wolf represents love, compassion, uh, positivity, right? And and someone asked him, they're like, well, how do you know which wolf, you know, which wolf wins? Mm-hmm. And he said, well, the wolf that you feed the most, mm-hmm. and what you feed is what you consume. So the stuff you consume on social media, the conversations you have, the people you surround yourself with, what you do in your alone time, all that stuff is going to feed one of those wolves, right? And, you know, your mind can be your your own worst enemy. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy that something that is supposed to be on your side can completely take you away from who you are. Yeah. And what... And to, you know, relate that back to me is like, I, I, I feel, I feel confliction a lot of the time where I know what I should be doing. I know what I would want to do. And, uh, I haven't been disciplined enough to listen to that. Right. I've been, I've been doing things that like almost know is no good for me. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why? We all do it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you've done it. You've had those chapters in your life where like yeah. you know what's fucking good for you, you know what's not good for you. Yeah. And there's just something, there's some type of blockage, there's something that is just making you lean the other way mm-hmm. because of the immediate grat- you know, gratification that you may get from it, right? The immediate satisfaction, mm-hmm. the potential of what you think things could be. Little things like that where you know shit is probably not the best for you, mm-hmm. but Sometimes it's easier in the short term than, you know, than looking big picture and saying like, I probably should avoid certain things, right? Or even just, bro, just bad habits, stuff like that. Like, I just haven't been in that space all around. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, you know, but then I'm always just like, yeah, I'm good though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am like, Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm good, you know, but then there is times where like, I do feel a little... Still just a little lost, a little confused, a little mm-hmm. still trying to just 
just figure this shit out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have a, uh, I mean, hey, I mean, hey, to bring everything, I mean, bro, it's, it's people are going to listen to me over the next fucking, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how long. I, that's why I want to tap back into this, into the spiritual stuff because my mind is just on YouTube. Yeah. I feel like Mr. Beast. I'm obsessed, you know, but, you know, just to relay kind of what you're saying back to YouTube is I, you know, I asked, said, why is that? Because, um, there's actually... I actually have been on the opposite side of that recently where I've like only been doing the things that I know I need to be doing, mm -hmm. you know? Um, now in the past two weeks, that's another story. I've had a shitty two weeks, but that's why bringing up YouTube. I like YouTube because I know on Wednesday for 30 days, I'm going to film myself doing a challenge. And like part of the challenge is doing the things that I know that I have to do, you yeah. know? And that's like the accountability thing. That's been nice. Um, for me, you know, between the, the 30 days, no social media, I can't hide. I can't go on social media. I, I said I wasn't going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, you know, I'm, the seven days fasting, I don't know if that was the healthiest thing in the world, but um, it just felt good to know I was going to, I had to do something in doing it. And then obviously the, the carnivore diet, getting my health in order. Um, I, I just personally feel like, bro, we need to get to a place where we can let ourselves fall off the path for a day or two. You know, let yourself, bro, eat unhealthy for a day. Let yourself fuck around with a girl you, you know you shouldn't be fucking around with. Let yourself um, go out and whatever, whatever, whatever toxic behavior, you know, that you're not necessarily the most proud of, like, by all means do it. But like, when that becomes your everyday life, that's bad. Because like, you just admitted it yourself. I've admitted it before. Wow, I'm not the best version of myself. And it aggravates me. And then I tell you what's wrong with me, and then I go and I do those. I do it. I do the thing that's wrong with me, and uh, and then you know we shoot a podcast a week later. I talk with someone a week later, and they're like, "How are you?" And I'm like, "Still not good." Why? And it's because it's because of me. Like I'm messing up. It's because of me, and it creates this weird relationship where like I actually think people like their pain. You know, like I've liked my pain because it became a story. It became like this hey, feel sorry for me thing. Or even if I'm in pain and I don't like my life, it's more familiar than... I mean, it's corny, but like it's more familiar than, than the unknown. It's more familiar than what could be. It's more familiar than what would my life look like if... Because that's the other thing too about your problems. It's like, bro, a lot of times problems are just vices. So although they bring us pain, they're familiar and they allow us to not go towards the really dark, scary stuff, the trauma, the monsters, you know, that, um, you know, I can say that about me. That's, that's been all of my little toxic vices. Um, it sounds stupid, but like the, they're, they're really just cover ups because I'm afraid to go. I mean, just to. I'm afraid to go deal with things that I didn't, when I first confronted them, I was like, oh, this is way too much. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to push this to the side. Yeah. Um, and that's, and that's what vices are, you know, that's what any vice is. And, and that was something um, for me that I've certainly encountered, but you know, bro, I've challenged myself really hard, you know, the, the past few months and I'll say the social media detox was a big one. You know, that was, uh, because that was like, that was like my, one of my biggest vices for a long time. And then when you, when you get rid of a vice and you're scaring and you're staring your problems in the face, um, it's sink or swim. And you real and you really realize in the moment that you're running away from, from nothing. You're, you're, you know, you, you think that there's this big, scary monster you think that there's all this trauma and all this baggage and there and it's there you might have a bad day you might have two bad days you might have three bad days but you remove those vices bro and you you're brave enough to face your fears um after three four days you begin to realize just how strong you are and um and that's kind of where i'm at now you know like i don't like, I almost look at, like, bad habits and problems and vices as just a funny thing that I do to self-sabotage myself. But I don't take it that serious. Like, I'm fat as shit right now. 
you know? Like, I, bro, I was shredded. I'm a little upset because I, I went from, like, being the most shredded I've ever been uh, to, like, being fat. Like, literally, like, stuffing down Chinese food and Cheetos and, like... But now I'm doing it unapologetically because it's conscious. It's conscious. Like, I... That's something that that people need to understand. Actually, one of my favorite books, The, the Way of the Peaceful Warrior, there's a spiritual guru. And one day, the student walks in on the guru, and the guru's smoking a cigarette. And the student's like, are you out of your mind? Like, you're supposed to be a vegan? Like, you preach health? Why are you smoking a cigarette? And the guy's like, because I, I could put it down and not smoke another one. And that's really the trick is like, you know, whatever you do in life, do it consciously, whatever, whatever it is. Um, and, and, and that's a superpower. And that's something that I'm beginning to understand now. How do you do a decision consciously? Discipline. Cultivate discipline. And that was where that the seven day fast was so big for me, you know, because the entire time I was suffering. But now I just I don't feel I, you know, it's funny. I used to look at a bag of Cheetos as like. A worthy adversary. I look at Cheetos and be like, you, it, it, it would almost be like, this thing beats me every time. Like, I, 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 I try not to eat junk food. I try not to watch, watch porn. I try not to, there's all these things that I try not to do and they always beat me. But now that I've cultivated, I, that, now that I've cultivated discipline, it's all just a big joke to me, you know. Um, so I, I, I would, I would just say, you know, may, maybe for you, and 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 and, do you feel like you've been? Uh, um, do you feel like discipline is, is something that, like, where are you at with your discipline? How, 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 where are you at in terms of that? Yeah, like, you you spoke about, you know, like self sabotage and yeah. being and being conscious with mm-hmm. your decisions. And uh, and that that's probably been my my biggest my biggest battle. Um, with, uh, before you go on, I also do want to say, bro, I fucking feel for you because I have this YouTube shit right now, bro. And it's really changed my life. Mm -hmm. It's, it's made me, um, much happier just to have a focus. So like, I, 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 I don't know if there are answers for you. Like I know right now we're on the pod. So we're speaking like what can you do differently? But yeah, like, yeah. bro, it's, it's just, I, I actually feel for you that you don't have fucking something to put your energy into. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think that's why I was like trying to pursue this relationship probably so much. Cause it gave me something to like work towards, right? Like it gave me something to feel. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, bro, that, that's what it's been. And, and it's honestly been like that for a little while where I obviously prefaced, you know, my opening statement with, uh, like the mental strength. Right. And like, so like I can tell myself like I'm good, but I mean, bro, like to be completely honest, like I have been at war with myself for a long time Mm -hmm. and, uh, I've been losing that battle frequently Mm -hmm. and I don't know why Mm -hmm. there, there's just so many things that I know I have to do and I know it's good for me and I have not been doing them. Mm -hmm. And, every single day I don't do them, I question myself and I question my own character. And it has been, it has been a a struggle for me in that aspect. Mm -hmm. But I really, I I also think, um, I think it is a little bit of kind of what you said of just like, you know, I've spoken about it a lot, but like I I haven't had that thing since basketball Mm -hmm. where it was like, I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to go to the gym and get shots up. I knew I had to go and work on my plyometrics. I knew I had to go lift. I knew I had to go watch film, right? Like I knew these, these, these tasks that I had to complete every day if I wanted to be successful in what I was pursuing. And I haven't had that since then. And this has been, this has been something you know, a lot of athletes struggle with right. where um, they they do feel lost after their sport. And, you know, your scenario is a little bit different because you were stripped of your sport due to injury. There was nothing you could really do to get back to playing because it was out of your control. Right. 
mine really wasn't out of my control, and I thought that the podcast was going to be my new thing, and it and it is in a way, but it's also not. The, I think we all need, we all do need something that that gives us some type of get up in the morning, right? Like something to look forward to every single day, something to chase, something to pursue, something to grow at, something to work on. We all need that. That's that's so important for your for your for your development just as a human especially as a man like you said in the beginning like we need to build mm-hmm. right we need to grind towards something because it gives us purpose mm-hmm. and i feel like i have been lacking that mm-hmm. and what i've done uh, a, a, a huge chunk of my life bro i mean honestly like i've poured into so many other people yeah and i don't i don't know if i've ever poured into myself the way i've poured into everyone else I've done things for other people that I don't even do for myself. I've done, you know, I've went out of my way so many times to make someone else happy. And I don't even go out of my way to make my own self happy. Mm. And I don't know why I do that. Mm. I don't know what I'm searching for. I don't know what I'm looking for in trying to make other people's lives better when I can't even sit and make my, my own life better. And that's been something that I struggled with. And I saw Ed Milet speak about, um, you know, you have to be a good man. You can't be a nice guy. Mm-hmm. And as simple as that sounds, uh, I watched the entire clip and, 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 I, and I listened to what he said. And, you know, if you really think about it, you know, you can't be a nice guy. You have to be a good man. Mm-hmm. And when you're a nice guy, you get taken advantage of. Mm-hmm. You get shit on. People fucking take your kindness for weakness. They'll fucking squeeze the life out of you until they can't get anything more. Mm -hmm. And then they just leave you out to dry. Mm -hmm. And then you get left, you know, kicked to the fucking curb. Mm -hmm. But like when you're a good man, you stand on your morals. You stand on your values. You know when no is no and yes is yes. You stand on your word. And sometimes there's tough conversations that have to be had and you have them, right? Sometimes you have to let go of people that aren't any good for you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to fucking be the bigger man in the situation and and put your ego aside. Mm -hmm. Like that's being a good man. And I haven't done that for a long time. I've been the nice guy. Mm -hmm. I've been taken advantage of for a long time, right? Like I've always just tried to be a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. And that shit is draining when you're a people pleaser, you know, because it's like, I'm pouring so much energy into everyone else and I'm trying to help everyone else and I'm thinking of other ways to make everyone else's life better and I'm not even fucking putting energy into making my own life better. Mm. And I got to stop that shit, you know? Mm. Because if I'm trying to build, you know, a personal brand, I'm trying to build this, I'm trying to be someone of, you know, of... Influence. Not influence. What's the word we, we we said that that we lacked in 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 those rules of what we have? Credibility. Credibility, right? If I'm trying to be someone of credibility, mm-hmm. right, and be credible with things I say, mm-hmm. it's like I need to I need to do it for me, yeah. you know. And 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 that's that's just been the thing that like I've been struggling with recently, where. You know, I'm built. I feel like I'm building everyone else. I feel like I'm I'm enhancing everyone else's life. I'm making everyone else's life better. And in doing that, I'm making my own life worse because I'm not doing anything for myself. Mm. And you know, I just feel like I don't know how much longer I can go not doing anything for me mm. and doing everything for everyone else because I'm not too happy where I'm at and. People could look at the success we've had and this and that and like, bro, like I love it, but it, all, it, it, I don't feel any different, you know? And I can only imagine, you know, because you say like, you see people talk about like success a lot, right? Like, and how it doesn't change, right? Like your life doesn't change. You know, Mike talks about it. when you get the money, you get that. And like, I know I haven't, we haven't experienced that yet, but we've experienced a taste of like success outside of our hometown right and like people recognizing us for what we're doing and yeah. um is there points that it feels good yeah but bro like i feel like shit most of the time like i feel like i like i hate where i'm at you know what i mean like because I, I know what i i know where my 
value is. I know what I'm capable of and I know I'm not reaching my potential. So it bothers me when people, you know, praise me and tell me how good I'm doing and, and, you know, like congratulations and, you know, because I, I can't accept it because like, I feel like I'm not doing shit. And I, I, I hate that. I hate that. I can't be, you know, proud of what I've done because I don't like where I'm at as a man. And that's been like my struggle, you know? And then I say all that to be like, but I am okay, you know? So it all goes back to like, I'm good. Like, I don't want to sit here and act like I'm, I'm asking for sympathy or complaining, but I'm just being transparent and like, that's truthfully how I felt, you know? And I don't, I'm, you know, I don't voice it a, a lot to you. And personally, bro, like there are things that like, I do tell you most things, but there are some things like I don't tell you because I know you're going to tell me what I don't want to hear, even though I know it's right. And I feel like a lot of people do that. A lot of people tell, don't want to tell people their problems, especially people that they know care about them because they know that person is going to tell them something they don't want to hear and they know it's right for them. So they hold it in because they don't want to fucking tell people what they're actually going through because the advice they're going to get goes against what they're feeling in that moment. And I, like, that's truthfully where I'm at, bro. So I spend a lot of time by myself, just fucking just like battling these thoughts, battling my emotions, battling my feelings. And, uh, and it has just been a struggle for me to get going, even though I know exactly what the fuck I have to do. So, and I'm sure there's a lot of people listening. I know that was a long tangent, um, I know there's a lot of people listening that probably face that as well, where they're just struggling with their, with themselves. It's not even anyone else around them. They're just, they're just fucking struggling with themselves and shout out to John Scafidi. Cause that's the brand, you know, I'm wearing right now at war. Um, and that's what his brand is all about. You know, just being at war with yourself. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, bro, sometimes it has to get a lot worse before it gets better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i'm so proud of the person that i am right now i really am bro and uh i've been thinking often lately about how bad it was for me at points yeah and uh i wouldn't be the man that i am today if all that if all that stuff didn't happen to me yeah and it was bad it was bad and i i, I don't i don't revisit it i don't go back there but i'm i'm damn grateful that it happened i'm very grateful that it happened um you know, bro, um, we're in a weird position. We're in a weird position. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird, it's a weird, weird, weird position that we are in right now. Uh, yeah. because we're in that like pre, I mean, dude, I mean, we're about to blow up. I'll tell you that, you know, take, take everything we've spoke about, you know, over the past, uh, you know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, whatever it's been and, and everything that we've said in, in between, we're, we're going to blow up we're gonna blow up. Um, but I think that's, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I think that's the only thing that is get that, that is, is making me hang on because yeah. there is a deep sense of knowing that I know where this thing is going. I know yeah. where we're headed. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, like this is only temporary, yeah. you know, like this dark place that I'm in right now. I know it's temporary because I know where we're going. So it has been a little bit easier to go through it. If I didn't have this, bro, I'd be fucked. You know, I would be fucked because like I would just feel completely lost. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. You do have this. I feel like this is this is God lending a hand out to you. And 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 uh you know, they always say um what are they, what's the line? God will never give you more than you, you can't handle. God will never. Yeah, God God wouldn't give it to you if he didn't think you could handle it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, I believe that. You know, I I believe that. And there's times where, where you're sitting there and it's so bad. Worse than it is now. It's worse. And you're and you're just like, I didn't I didn't need this. I didn't need this is torture. You know, I didn't know it can get this dark. And that that's when uh it's one of the greatest lessons God can give you, you know. That's when you're like the most blessed you can be. Cuz if you can just if you can just work through that pain, keep your heart open, be brave, 
you learn so much about yourself and you get so much self-respect. And then five years pass and you realize that you needed, that in order for you to do what you had to do in this lifetime, you needed that. You needed it. Yeah. And, uh, you know what's funny, man? I, 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 It's 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 one of those it's one of those weird things, bro. I'm reading this book and it talks about defeat. Um, it's like, hey, can you describe what you know what defeated people are like? And uh, defeated people, um, defeated people are people that 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 go after it, you know. And uh, there's a lot of people out there that never face defeat, and it's because they. They never face defeat because they're cowards. You know, um, there's a lot of people that are that are cowards. They 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 they're not doing what what we're doing. They're not they're not going after the the, the glory in their life. And um, I I I just think I just think that's a question. You know, for 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 everyone to you know for everyone to ask themselves that's li- that's listening to us is like you know and. Um, Bro, there's a difference between defeat and failure. You know, defeat is okay. Anybody that was ever amazing at anything, that ever had any goal that was ever... Our goal is to be the best podcasters in the world. We probably need to shoot 900 more episodes to get there, you know? You ask anyone that's really amazing at what they do, what did it take to get here? Failure over and over and over and over again and then by the way when i was failing i couldn't make rent and my girlfriend broke up with me and my parents wouldn't speak to me and those are the people that make it the the farthest the people with the craziest stories you know so that's something like bro like and I, i know i keep talking about it but like bro the crazier the crazier your life situation is the more shit that life is giving you just know that there's a blessing around the corner it's all peak. It's it's all it's all peaks and valleys. Yeah. It's all peaks and valleys, and 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 true and and warrior being you know being a warrior you know um. Being a fighter is all. It, it, it's all about bro. Like I don't respect fighters that are undefeated. I respect people, bro, that are that are at the top of their game, lose and then come back come back and 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 then and then win that belt again because you you learn you, you know it, it you learn more about yourself through the defeats yeah and um there's and it's you know you need to be proud of your scars bro you need to be very proud of your scars your scars say a lot more than the sword that caused them yeah you know yeah you know i look back at all the trauma and the bad things that happened in my life and 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 I'm way more interesting now than anything that could have ever caused them. Yeah. There was so much things that happened to me. But it's like that's what makes me proud of me. It's like I wear my scars proudly. That's something for pe that's something for people, you know, to 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 dive to dive deep into. It's like, bro, if you're if you're going if you're going through something in your life, just know that like this is a moment of greatness for you. This is a proud moment for you. This is a chapter in your book. This is when it starts heating up, baby. They're gonna make a film about you, you know. And and that's 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 where we're at, you know. That's where we're at. We're we're at, bro. Um, I think that uh, it, you know, obviously, very 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 inspirational episode. But um, you know, like 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 we've stated already, um, we just are blessed because. I feel like we've crossed that stage of we're going to make it. You know, I, I know I know it now. So now I don't need to like, I'm not cautious anymore of like, oh, I don't want to jinx. I don't want to jinx things. You know, I don't want to, you know, because like now I'm at the stage now where like, bro, I'm getting so, and that's another reason why, like, you know, this YouTube thing. It's like, bro, like I'm, I'm I am, if, whatever. I mean, that's me being cocky and arrogant now. 
but um just we're, we're just the type of guys that the only thing we've been missing is like the knowing of what we have to do but uh <clears throat> yeah but yeah no it's gonna be good, 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 good season coming up. yeah like you were i mean you were speaking about you know your your scars have made you proud of uh proud of who you are and and I think I think that's one thing that that I have really struggled with. Like it, it it's really hard for me to be proud of of what I've done and who I am. Mm. And I, I I don't know why, but I can never give myself credit. Um, I never feel like I'm doing enough. Uh, I always feel like there's more to do. I always feel like what I've done is very minuscule. Mm-hmm. And I think that's why uh, a large part of me wants to pour into everyone else. Mm. Because it's like, I'm trying to let people know like how good of a person I am, you know, like, or how much value I can provide you because I never give myself that credit. So it's like, I'm almost in a way, maybe searching for validity in other people to value me because I don't value myself enough. And, uh, I mean, bro, like I think about it all the time. Like, you know, we all have intrusive thoughts, you know, like there's, you know, you ever been talking to someone and you're like, yo, what if I just punch this guy in the face right Mm -hmm. now? You know, or you ever walk, you know, over a bridge and you're like, yo, what if I just jumped right now? You know, those are those just those intrusive thoughts, right? So one of the intrusive thoughts I always have is like, bro, I think about my funeral a lot. I don't know why it just comes up in my head where I'm just like, I think about what would my life be like? Well, not what would my life be like, because obviously it would be over. But I'm saying like, what, you know, at the end of my life, like, how are people going to view me? Mm. So I, I, I picture my funeral in my head and I, and I think about like, who would show up? What were the conversations that were going to be had? You know, how would people try to remember me? And I think about that constantly. And I don't know why, but it is something that I think carries with me into my present day life and it's like i just want people to remember me as this like you know good-hearted like Mm -hmm. i would do anything for anyone go out of my way for them help people and and i and i think that is part of the battle with like i just am giving more to other people than i am giving to myself And, and that's not healthy you know like you can't you can't pour into everyone else's cup because like eventually your cup is going to be empty, you know? And that, that, that's just been a battle for me in that sense. But, uh, yeah, bro. It's, uh, cause I, I mean, I've been through my fair share of, of traumas and struggles and, Mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and, and heartbreaks Mm -hmm. and, and you name it. And it, it doesn't, it almost doesn't feel like it, you know, like, it's hard for me to be proud of my scars. Like it's, I don't, I don't feel like I don't feel worthy to, to use these scars as like, a, you know, it's like this weird thing where it's just like, I feel, uh, there's been a sense of like numbness where like, I feel a lot, uh, in the moment when something mm-hmm. happens, like I, I really fucking my, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I feel it. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it fucking crushes me. And then once I get over it, it's like, I'm numb to it. It's like, I can't, I can't even think about it anymore. Yeah. Even if I try to feel it, even if I try to have my emotions involved in a certain situation, it's like, I'm faking it. Yeah. It's like, I, I, I don't feel it anymore. And maybe that did happen at like, you know, from my childhood of like overcoming that where it's like, I say that a lot where it's like, yo, I did go through the worst shit in my life already. So it's like, everything else is kind of like, minuscule Mm -hmm. so it's like yeah it affects me in the moment because i'm present in the moment right it's like it's fresh it's right it's a fresh wound but it's like once that band-aid gets put on it's i i don't feel it anymore and i maybe i do wish i did because i can use that as more fuel and motivation moving forward Mm -hmm. but that's just been something that like and, and may, maybe that is a good trait that I have that like, I'm not proud of myself, right? All the time. I'm not, I'm not happy with where I'm at because it makes me continue to want more and it makes me continue to want to work hard and strive for something and pursue this, right? And, and it makes me never get comfortable because you see a lot of people that do get to the top, right? Like, or even they get a little bit, they get a taste of success and then they take their foot off the gas. And then the, the next motherfucker that, that's behind them, bro, bl- blows right past them because 
they got happy with where they were at and that that next guy behind them was was way hungrier than them mm. and um i never want that to happen mm -hmm. you know but so so maybe this is a blessing in disguise that i do feel this way that i do never but it, it does scare me a little bit of like kind of like you you've spoke on pods before where it was like you know it, it's never enough you know, when is it going to be enough? When, when is, when is the thing that you're striving for, the thing that you're chasing, the thing that you've wanted your entire life? When is that going to be enough? When you can move out of your parents' house, <laughs> just yeah. simple shit. You yeah. Know. Yeah. Little things like Probably that. But, little, I, but I think, I think all that, I think all of our, our, you know, I think all the aspects of, of, you know, like my life situation is kind of affecting my mental health of just where I'm at, you know? And, yeah. and, and that's the thing though, with me where like, I'm so good at uh, at faking it. I'm so good at just putting on a smile. I'm so good at faking conversations where I could just act like I'm okay. I'm act like everything's all right. And then the moment I get by myself, I'm right back to that dark place, not happy with where, where I'm at, not happy with myself, constant internal dialogues with the angel on my left shoulder, the devil on my right shoulder at war all day. Yeah. You know, and that's my that's my every day. It really is. And I never speak about it just because I always tell myself like, yo, you're good. You're going to be fine. Yo, you have this. I'm OK. But there is a you know part of me when I am alone and I just think about what's actually going on in my mind. And that's the conversation that is is constantly happening over and over and over again. So I I, I know I need to make a change. Mm -hmm. And I tell myself every day, like, yo, today's the day. Yo, it's Monday. Let's start the week fresh, right? And I may get off to a good start here and there, and then I yeah, fall bro, off. It, it, it's, it's because, and that's why I said at the beginning of the episode, bro, I feel for you. What are you going to do? You know, what are you yeah. going to do? Yeah. You know, what the fuck are you going to do? You know, it's like, it's it, bro, it's, it's I, 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 uh, I, I. Because, like, ha like, you've been there before? Bro, I was there, I was there when, right when I got home, the first four months when I got yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and bro, it was a very, yo, my mental health, bro. When I first let me let me pee, and then, I'll, and then we'll, we'll go into it. Okay, cool. What's going on, y'all? Hope you guys are enjoying this episode. Just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Evermore, best water in the game. Honestly, shout out to them. If you guys want to try Evermore, I can show you guys where to find it. We're gonna to go to Evermore.com. Let me show you. Type in Evermore.com. Evermore will open up, you can scroll through, check out what they got going on. Hit the menu up in the top left corner. You're gonna hit the where to buy tab. Once you're here, it'll give you the option to type in your city or your postal zip code. You we'll type in mine, 11746, find products, and then you scroll down and it shows all the stores that carry Evermore. If you do purchase an Evermore, send us a DM on Instagram at the journey podcast, show proof that you bought it. And that'll enter your name into a raffle that we're going to be sending all of our followers or people that have bought Evermore. Um, we're going to send them some money. So, so if you do purchase an Evermore, DM us and uh, show your proof. Enjoy the rest of the episode. All right. Anyway, so so we were speaking about um yeah, just where 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 you were at, you know, a couple months ago with oh, your mental yeah. health. Yes. Yeah. 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 Bro, I, I, and that's why I said that's why I said before that I feel, bro, I feel I feel crazy for you because like yo like. You know, almost like that, almost like that Emmett shit, bro. Like sometimes like, you know, maybe your mental health isn't the worst just because you're not winning, you know, like that type of shit. And, and, you know, bro, you know, what's funny the entire time I was playing football, uh, I never had any, any anxiety and I, it wasn't a mistake. It was cause I was just so focused on football, bro. And I'm sure, I'm sure you can relate. And, um, I, I, I really, I really fucking feel for you, bro. Because yeah, when I got, when I got home, uh, it, uh. There was some heavy shit, bro, that I was like. I was such a broken version of myself uh, from Miami. And I think I used Miami to distract myself from uh, a lot of pain that I just let go in Miami. Very unhealthy. Very unhealthy in Miami very 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 unhealthy you know it's for someone like me bro that already has 
a big ego, you know, being, being in Miami just wasn't, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't good for me. It wasn't, it wasn't good for me. And, um, when I got home, um, bro, there was just a lot of days, bro, where my mind would say something, I would think thoughts and I would be like, Oh my God, how did you just think that? Like that is the darkest shit I've ever heard. And then now, and then I'll, I'll, you think it again. And again, and that which you resist persists. So you try to stuff it away, but you wake up the next morning and that terrible dark thought is the first thing that's on your mind. So you stuff it away and it's back and it's back and it's with you at the gym. It's with you at Chipotle. It's with you right after you shoot a pod. It's there all the time. There's a lot of dark thoughts that I was having, bro. Negative, negative, negative thoughts, bro. My personality type is ENFP. We off ourselves, Robin Williams. You know, um, it, it's uh, it, it's uh, I I see a little bit of that trait in me, right? Like there's there's this weird thing where it's like I I never faced a bro. I never faced toxic, negative, scary thoughts in my entire life. I I wasn't even aware there was there was thoughts in there that those obtrusive thoughts you were speaking about before. Yeah. And um, now I'm at this place now where you know people always ask me like, "What are you most afraid of?" I'm like myself. Myself. Hey, there's there's nothing in the world that can be scarier than my own mind. Nothing. I've seen some scary movies. I've 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 done a lot of scary shit. I've I've went to abandoned psychiatric wards. I've done this and that, I, bro. I've 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 been in fights with people that were much tougher than me, and nothing has been scarier than me. And that's a very messed up reality. Because the first thing that that you might try to you know you people use vices to to get away from their mind we drink we smoke we 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 hang out with the opposite sex we it's a million things you could do every night you go to bed you go to bed with 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 your mind every single night there's nothing you could do it's always there and um That's why, bro, I believe in spirituality and meditation so much because it was the first thing that it gave me space from that dark negative voice. And, and that's why I love it so much. But there's no, I have no reason to be fired up about that shit. I have no reason. I'm, bro, I grew up in the same town as you, bro. I fucking, I, 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 I we've obviously played sports and, and, uh, you know, live very similar lives. And, and I even lived a more egotistical life than you, you know, where like you were more about the grind. I was more about being fucking cool. Um, Claudia, it's my baby. Anyway, um, and that's why I feel for you, bro, because I also, you know, I, 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 I've seen that like sometimes, bro, like your mind can get really chaotic when, um, you know, the dev, uh, an idle mind is the devil's playground and, uh, and, uh, with not much to do, you know, that thing, c- it can just create its own problems. You know, um, uh, I haven't had really any problems recently and, um, I probably have been, I probably have been neglecting, um, checking in with myself. I haven't spent much time with myself, but it just, it just, it just been so good to, why do I got to work on myself so much? Why can't I just work on football or basketball? You know, like, why can't I just work on my job and what I want to do with my life? Why do I have to work on myself? Cause that's such a tough, that's such a tough thing to do, you know? Cause it's the first time it's like, bro, you've been like, bro, we're talking 26 years of living on this earth. And now being and and never been aware, never been reflective of what's going on in here. So you have twenty six years of bad habits, and now after twenty six years, I'm gonna go in there and try to figure it out. It, it uh, so that so and and that takes time 
figuring this out takes time. It, it might take a lifetime. It might take two lifetimes, three, four, 10, 20. I believe in reincarnation. You know, it might take you as many lifetimes as possible. But like, you know, sometimes like the best thing you could do is just be a human being and just and just have purpose. You know, and that's a that's such a beautiful thing. Um, I do think our purpose is in podcasting. I do think you're underrated. I think you're underrated, bro, in terms of how good you are at fucking podcasting. I, I think I think I think you're one of the best in the game, bro. I, I really I really do. Um, I, I I I've watched enough podcasts now to like understand what's good and what's not good. It's a shame there hasn't been someone that's given us a shot because people have seen our stuff. You know, I got recognized today in the sauna. What does that mean? It means people have seen our stuff. I think it's a shame on people um, to not give not give the boys a shot. But uh, I do think your your purpose do, do, does lie heavily in the podcast, and that's what's been annoying about it. And that's why I say like, bro, three plus three plus one equals four. So does two plus two. You know, there's there's different ways to get to the same place. Yeah. And. Um, mm. We're going to the same. We're 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 gonna be enjoying, loving our lives, and it's been annoying that like three plus one for us has been podcasting, and it's been a struggle and it's been annoying, because I've had a lot of conversations in my life, and not a lot, not many people speak like this, and um, it's just been frustrating because we deserve to have Gary Vaynerchuk or Jay Shetty sitting sitting beside us. Yeah. Anybody that we've ever we've ever interviewed, it's been a shame, bro. Like even even the episode we did with J and R Choi, you know, and 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 I mean, bro, we are great at this. We are great, and uh, we deserve more credit. And it's and it sucks to see people thriving in this game, like a Bobby Altoff that just gets put on. But but just 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 know that like we're gonna be good, and 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 bro, we're in it, we're in it, for, we're in it, we're in it for the long run. Like just whenever this thing does hit for us it's gonna be like boom it hits you know it's like a cash cash out type of thing so yeah um yeah we're we're, we're, we're gonna be good bro yeah 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 like you are uh you were speaking about purpose things like that yeah. and 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 how it takes so long for you to figure out the mind and it's uh it's easy like i wouldn't even say it's easy right because you know, pe- people that do work, people that work regular jobs, majority of the time, they're distracted on things that they don't care too much about. Yeah. Uh, if you're an athlete, you're spending majority of, of your time trying to perfect your craft, mm-hmm. which you do care about, but it's such a small portion of your life. Athletes forget. Athletes think that your sport is your entire life. It's not. It's such a small percentage of your entire life. Mm-hmm. Um but when you are pursuing something that you have to create from the ground up, there is a lot of downtime, right? And you said that, um, you know, idle time is the devil's playground. And, yeah. and, and that's really what it is. Mm. That's really what it is, bro. Where, you know, if you, you, you spend enough time with yourself, you start to really figure out who you are. You start to really figure out your thought process. You start to really figure out why you think these things why are these things coming up in your mind and uh and then there's and then there's a a world where you have to actually think about the thoughts that are coming in your mind and then question why am i thinking this you know why do i feel this way and when you spend enough time by yourself and you don't have distractions around you it can get really scary because like you said, the scariest thing you have to face in life is your own mind. Mm-hmm. Your own mind can really be your demise and it can also be your fucking greatest friend. It can be the thing that takes you to places that you would have never imagined. Mm-hmm. But you have to be able to control your mind and control your thoughts mm-hmm. even though it's so fucking hard. We have 70,000 thoughts a day. Half of them are negative. Which which side of the thoughts are you going to listen to? Majority of people listen to those negative thoughts. They allow those things to come in and just fucking destroy them. Mm. And I this is one of the first times in my life. I mean, like, yes, I felt it with my, my, my breakup a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that was... 
that was uh, a thing out of my control that was put in my life that made me feel a certain type of way. So I had to go within and go f- search for these things, right? And figure out problems with myself. And I did. I found out a lot, bro. I took eight months. That was the first time in my life I took eight months to really work on who I was and like I wrote things down and I fucking read books. It was like the first time I ever did that, you know, like, um, and, and, and I did figure out a lot about myself, but I do think there is still so much more to unravel so much more to unfold about who I actually am. And it's, it's been tough for me where, you know, when you are, when you do spend so much time by yourself, you really, you really struggle to know who you are because there are so many conflicting thoughts. There are so much things that we face every single day that we battle with, that we contradict ourselves. Right. And, and we know every single thing we do. That's the thing that like people forget of like, Bro, you're always with yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like two different people. Mm -hmm. There's always someone watching, whether you're thinking God is always watching, but you're always watching yourself. You're always monitoring yourself. So what you can do is you always judge yourself and you are always your own worst critic because deep down, you know the shit that you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know the shit that, that that you should be doing and that you shouldn't be doing Mm -hmm. and that's like the toughest part is when you when you are with yourself and uh and you feel like you can't win Mm -hmm. that's the worst battle you ever have to lose is like that when when you lose that battle with yourself when you when when in your outside life in your outside world like you can be successful you can make other other people's lives better you can be a good person. You could be a good man, right? You could be a nice guy. You could be all these things. But when 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 you are, you know, alone, when, you, when you're by yourself, when you put your head on that pillow at night, like, if you can't, if you can't conquer yourself, if you can't win against yourself, if you're losing that war every single day with yourself, bro, that's a fucked up place to be. That's a terrible place to be when... When there's there's a piece of you that is telling you, you need to do this. These are the things you have to do yeah. to get you out of this place. Mm-hmm. And that other place in your mind tells you, ah, go do this. Feels good right now. Mm. Go do this. It might make you distracted for a little bit to take you away from who you really are. And you let that place win over and over and over again. It's a fucked up place to be, bro. Yeah. No, I do. I agree. I agree, bro. I, you know, it's funny. I saw... Uh, take the old swig of this. Get me right. There you go. I saw Kevin Hart speak about this shit. He's like, bro. When you're following your dreams and you're putting work day in and day out, and nothing is happening for you, and you still decide to show up the next day, that's when you know, like, 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 those are the best people, you know? That, that, that's something to strive for. When you put in work every single day, and there's every reason to stop doing this thing, you have every reason to stop following your dreams. Bro, we've done 200 million views on the internet. I go inside, my dad tells me to get a real job. There's everything working against you, every single thing. Family members, loved ones, society. Why are you doing this, man? Why are you doing this? And you don't even know. But but you do but you do it anyway, you know? That that's when that's when um That's how you know you're going to be successful. You know, that's how you know you're going to be successful, bro. When, 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 like, it, it, it's just such a simple, it's, it gets me so mad that, uh, the problem is, bro, is, is our, 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 our role models don't speak enough about their success. 
they don't they're not they're not relatable enough about how they actually did it yeah you know and 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 if they are it's not in our face enough you know it's it's a it's a it's a problem of society what's on the news why why are we looking at all this all these things that are happening all over the world like i want to know like what made lebron james lebron james why is that not on fox and nbc why is that not on the news what do you think a kid needs to see more, you know, about all the problems and all the issues of the world or like, like what made Serena Williams? Let, let me hear her story. You know, let, let me, let me, let me, let me listen to someone that's been great, you know, cause like, that's the problem too, is like role models in society. It's like, bro, like the, our role like it's 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 very unfortunate but like a lot of people sign up they sign the contract to not live a meaningful existence they sign it away now i know people seeing this are going to be like wow you're such a you're 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 so insensitive dude look look in the mirror look in the mirror can you genuinely say that you're doing your best can people genuinely say that and people might want to get mad at me, bro, and write in the comments, you're so insensitive. Bro, it's not my brand. My entire brand is to be inspirational. But maybe you needed to hear that today. Maybe somebody needed to hear that today. Is like, if, if you look at someone that's great and you feel worse about yourself and you want to talk shit about them, that's on you. That has nothing to do with them. That, that person you're talking shit about has no idea you even exist. And and they're enjoying their life, and you're sitting in your room upset about them. And you know what's crazy? You write this spiteful, angry message, but you wish you were them. You wish you were. That's been a big thing with me lately, bro. I've been getting crazy comments lately, because for the most part, you've been managing the the TikTok. Yeah. So I like kind of shielded myself away from it, bro. Now that I have my own YouTube, bro, I'm able to look at people, and I'm I'm. And I, and I think about the comments and I'm like, I can't even believe that, that you took that away from this piece of content, that you took that away because I know you don't actually feel like that, you know, and, and I, and I, and I, and I don't blame people. Um, it, it, it just, it gets me, it, it gets me sad, bro, that there are people out there that are genuinely trying to help other people. And those are the people that 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 other shit on the most like there's a lot of people that are just trying to help you there's a lot of people that are just trying to help you yeah. and, and 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 you're treated and you're and, and your beat it gets me upset bro i also want to speak about um negative opinions bro i don't really care about negative opinions but bro you know what breaks my heart about my father you know I, i've heard from everyone Jake, you're doing so amazing. Like, you know, all the views and the podcast. And I go inside of my dad every single day. Tells me I need a real job. And you know what breaks my heart, bro? It, it, it's I don't care about opinions from people I don't know. I want to. I want to care. All I want, bro, is for is for is, is for my my dad and my mom and the people closest to me to believe in me. And you know what I get? Get a real job. That's what I get, you know, and, 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 and that's what that's what gets me sad, bro, about like even Christmas and the holidays are coming up. And I we have I have not made that much money, but I'm building something. I, I, I really believe we can build something as influencers on the Internet. And the only thing I have to show for is views. I have no money. And I know that there's going to be a conversation with my family and they're going to say. What have you been doing with your life? And I'm going to try to explain it. And they're going to tell me that I'm an idiot. And and um, it's just very frustrating, bro. Because it's... it's uh, I love my family, bro. And I just want them to believe in me. And, um, you know, it's... Uh, and you know what else is sad, bro? The reason why I do all this is for my family. You know, it's like, how can you be so cruel to me because I'm following my dreams because I don't, I want to make millions of dollars to give back to you. I want to give back to you and, and you're, and you're shitting on me the most. 
There's people that don't even know me that are that that couldn't be more kind and and and, and more And, and and here and here's my family, bro. And here's my family, the people that I I need validation from the most. And uh, it, it's it's nowhere to be found. Yeah, you know it's a really and that's why, bro. I envy I bro. I envy your pops, bro. Like he's a good man, bro. Your dad's a good fucking man, bro. I want to say my dad's not a good man. He's a great man, you know. Yeah. You know, he I wouldn't be the man, I wouldn't be who I am without him, but like, bro, for your dad, bro, like to like do what he's done, paid for our flights in the past and shit, like that's crazy, bro. You never really speak about your relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's been um uh, I don't know. We like I just feel like we we know like him and I know what we have. You know, but we're both just like guys, you know, we're yeah. both men. And, and I and I take I mean, I do take a little bit of responsibility. Like I could show more. I could, you know, when he asked me to do little things, I definitely could just do them. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's been. um There has been there has been points in my life where like I have I have struggled with being able to show like true affection and love, right? Like I have I've had points in my life where like I know I should go out of my way to make this specific person feel some type of way. Mm-hmm. And I don't do it. And I don't know why. I don't know what that comes from and mm. And I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe there is like, like I've, I've literally, bro, I've thought of like going to a therapist just to see, just to see what comes out, you know, just to see like what it's like, you know, cause like, obviously this is a form of therapy, you know, and, but to sit in front of a stranger, maybe it's a little different. I have no idea. I've heard great things about it. Um, I've had some friends that, that have done it, that have said it's really good. Um, you know, I've thought about it, but like, I don't know why I do that. Right. Like I know, like I should show more to the people that truly care about me, the people that truly love me. Mm-hmm. I know I should give more. I should fucking be more open. I should speak more. I should go out of my way more. And I don't. Mm-hmm. And then for people that honestly probably don't give two shits about me, I try to go fucking above and beyond and, and give them the world. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what that comes from. I I really don't know why. It's uh, it has been weird, bro. But no, like we take we take people for granted, bro. That are that are that are close to us. No, we, we certainly do. Granted, bro. Yeah, bro, we take them for granted, and uh, yeah, and like you like like you were saying, bro, like with your with your fam and stuff like that, and um, outside of like your family, just in general, bro, it's it's hard to it's hard to speak to people about big. It's hard to speak to small minded people about big dreams. It's so hard to tell people that that's why it's so stupid to tell people what you're about to do Mm. or tell people what you're pursuing because they're not going to get it. Mm. Those people that 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 have maybe not accomplished that much in their life, like they're not going to get it. Mm. And it sucks because you care so deeply about this one thing and it's all that you want and and you know it's going to bring abundance of benefits to everyone else's life Mm -hmm. and they just don't they don't get it they just shoot it down Mm -hmm. and maybe they're not even trying to hurt you but they just shoot it down Mm -hmm. because that's all they know Mm -hmm. they know that it's not realistic but it's like what do you know about realistic if you haven't done it Mm -hmm. it's been done before so Mm -hmm. it's clearly realistic you know, and, and that bro, that's, that's such a big thing about like having a support system. Like sometimes you need someone that believes in you more than you believe in yourself. You just need that person that consistently tells you like, 
Yo, I'm fucking proud of you. Yo, I'm so happy you're doing this. Yo, I see all that you're doing. Sometimes that little bit of reassurance is all that you need to keep yourself going, to keep yourself continuing to pursue this dream of yours, you know? Because when you are by yourself, like, it can get dark. It can be hard to, to believe in yourself. It is hard to be proud of yourself. But if you have that one person that is close to you and, and, and they're telling you, like, yo, like, I fucking believe in you. Like, I know you're going to do this. Like, that might be that little bit of fucking motivation to get you over the hump, right? To, 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 that, to that morning that you don't feel like getting up, right? To that, to that day you don't feel like doing the, the little things that you may have to do. You think about them, right? You think about that person that actually believes in you because you know you want to repay them so bad for being the only person that believed in you and you do it. You get up and do it, not for yourself, but you do it for them because you know that when you were at your lowest, when you were in the darkest place of your life, you know that when everyone else fucking wrote you off and laughed at you and put you in group chats there was those those select few of people that actually believed in you mm. like those are the people you do it for mm. yes you do it for yourself but that at, at the end of the day nobody's nobody's i don't think there's one person in this world that has strictly done anything for themselves mm. maybe maybe a a point one percent of all humans but you look at the best of the best, bro. Like you, LeBron James, bro. Like he was doing that shit for his mom who raised him as a single mother, you know? Serena Williams, she was doing that shit for her father. You know, the Derek Jeters, the Tom Brady's, all these people, bro. Like they were doing it for someone. Yes, they were doing it for themselves, but they were doing it to give back to the people that supported them during their lowest of times because they know that they would never be in the position to chase what they're chasing without the support cast that they had during those fucking struggles, you know, during the building blocks. You and I both without our families and stuff like that, bro. Like there's no way we would even be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like this cottage alone, like your mom bought this. Where the fuck would we podcast without this? You know? Pretty cooked. Just think about that. The simplest of things. Where would we podcast without this? Where would we have this setting where it's, bro, it's just enough. It is just enough. We have just enough room for that FX30 with a with a crop with enough. a crop sensor to be able to reach me. You, good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? Right, like right. we we take we take so much for granted, bro. We we do take so much for granted. And uh bro, I think about it a lot, bro. I think about you know, I think about death, I think about mortality, I think about all those things a lot, and I'm just like, damn, like like what is life gonna be like? What is what what is life gonna be like without them? You know? What is that day going to be like? What is that what is that emotion? What is that feeling going to be like? What are the regrets I'm going to have when when that person in my life passes? Mm. And uh it's a sad thing, bro, when you think about when you think back about how much they've done for you and how little you've showed them appreciation or how you could have appreciated them so much more mm-hmm. than what you did. Um I mean, in the in 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 this moment, like that should be a moment for for me and you and people listening to like, it's like, yo, go do it, bro. You know, go do it. Like like uh, I was editing Dean's pod the other day, mm-hmm. um, actually this morning. Jared Jared was talking about the story. You and I were talking during the pod, yeah. um, but he was saying like, you know, uh, his grandfather asked him. Uh, he was like, yo yo pop, you need anything? And he was like, yo, uh, his, his pop was like, yeah, like a vanilla Coke. So he's like, I went to Walgreens. I went to CVS. I went to 7-Eleven. No one had it. So he's like, I just got him a regular Coke. And his nan, his grandmother says, uh, oh, this place has the fountain drink. He's like, I don't get it next week. His grandfather passed within that week. And he was like, yo, all he wanted was a fucking vanilla Coke. And I said, I'll get it next week. So he was like... If you can, if you can do it now, do it. Don't put off what you can do now to tomorrow. 
because you don't fucking know. This life is very scary. This life is very extreme. Mm -hmm. You never can expect what's going to happen next. And it's like, if you can do it today, bro, do it today. Don't fucking wait till tomorrow. And, uh, bro, I was editing that, bro. Just like getting emotional because, uh, Obviously, all the things he spoke about prior to that pod. Go check out the After Hours podcast with After Dean, Hours. Dean Francis. Dean Francis. If you guys are a fan of us, his pod is ramping up. But yeah, bro, he, uh, you know, I was just watching it. I'm just like, fuck, you know? Because cause I obviously can relate to Jared on numerous of levels with, with what he went through with losing his mother. And um, just that alone, I was just like, you know, he's right. You know, why do, why do we, why do we, why are we such victims of that? Of like, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll go see her tomorrow. He was like, yo, if your grandma calls you and says, yo, come over for dinner, go, go over there for dinner. Mm -hmm. You know, what's so important that you're putting these things off. And, uh, it's hard, bro. When we're so distracted and we're so focused on ourselves, and we're yeah. focused on what we're building and we don't think that's important. And we think we have more time. It's like, yo, you don't have more time. You never know how much time you actually have. So, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'm good with that. Yeah. yeah. You don't got yeah, you don't got good. nothing nothing left in the tank. No, I'm good with that, bro. I'm I'm, I'm somewhat being a little selfish because I'm gonna go hang out with a lady. Oh now. yeah, yeah. It's you getting late. It's getting late. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but nah, bro. I mean, it, it it was beautiful. Name name this podcast. Watch this if you're feeling lost. You know, it's uh. It just, it just, it's, it's, it's beautiful what we do, bro. It's, 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 it's fucking beautiful, man. It, uh, you know, I don't think I'm never going to be the guy to look down a camera and say, if you want to change your life today, here's five tips. Like, you know, it's no, just yeah, not... that's the thing. Like, bro, we never, we've never told people what to do. Nope. We just tell ourselves how we're feeling. Yeah. You tell me how you're feeling. I tell you how I'm feeling. Yeah. We maybe give each other some advice here and there, but we just kind of just tell people what we're going through. If you want to apply it to your life, go for it. Mm. If you think it's a sack of horse shit, cool. Enjoy being you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like it doesn't matter. You know, like that. Yeah. That's the one thing. Cause it's like. I feel like on the internet, like immediately, if someone tells me, here's three things that are going to completely change your life, I'm, I'm scrolling. I'm, yeah. I'm getting off of it yeah. because it's like, you have to go out of your way to tell me that I don't believe you Yeah. because maybe if you changed your life already and you have factual evidence of doing the thing that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to speak like that. Mm -hmm. You know, we just speak as a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing to sell you. That's it. Not a thing. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yes, I care about the people listening, but it's like, do what you want with what we're saying. Yeah. I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't control you. Yeah. If you find a better way than what I'm saying, shit, tell me. Yeah. You know, like, I'm we're we're both just trying to figure this shit out just like everyone else. And I think that's why people relate. Yeah. But yeah, there's never been a a place in in, in us where we were like we got to speak to the the people and tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. You know? Doesn't work. No. Not for us. No, it never I works. I just realized we probably lost a little bit of dinero. Probably could have thrown the podcast course in the uh in the fucking uh when, when I was gaining all those followers, I've gotten a lot of people, bro, that have DM me podcast, just so you know. I, I haven't I haven't hit them back. What do you mean podcast? I, we made a bunch of ads and we were like, DM us the word podcast. Oh, oh get this right, shit. right, 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 right. I mean, if we could look at that this week, I probably have like 50 people that have hit me up. Hey, I mean, if you, I mean, bro, we could fucking Let's set the podcast. Kajabi back up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if people want to, it's still there. Start, if people want to start podcasting, yeah, I mean, dude, we 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 do got it. Yeah, we. I, I just thought about that, bro. I'm like, holy shit. Uh, yeah, bro. But so many people have have, have asked about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's just something. It's it's, uh, and that's why, like, for us, bro, like, the best thing that we can do is like always. I mean, sponsorships are a must right now. You know, yeah, of they're course. they're a must. But you know, it's gonna be nice to. Uh, obviously you know create our own brand because uh 
I don't want to sell anyone anything. The same way, you know, I don't want to say here's three things. Um, this isn't that, you know. This is uh, hopefully the value exchange is uh, this just makes your day better, you know, and, and you guys can get some stuff out of this. Um, it's uh, I'll certainly say um, this is probably the most relatable podcast in terms of two guys that have been through something that are that are actually um, that aren't that aren't giving up and uh, and really face life. You know, re- really, really face it, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the yeah, thing, you know, with like this pod, you know, in general, like yeah, like it could have, like a lot of the shit I talked about could have sounded negative, but it's like no. there's not one part of me. I mean, a lot of it was negative things in life, but I'm yeah. saying like there's not one part of me that's gonna like quit or stop mm-hmm. doing this, you know. Mm-hmm. So like what you were saying, where it's like it's like just two guys that are just never going to quit. Yeah. It doesn't matter what life throws at them. It doesn't matter the things that you go through, the things that you have to face. Like, I'm not going to quit. Like mm-hmm. there's, there's not a bone in my body that has a, has quit on it, you know? Yeah. So that's what I think a lot of people face, bro. Is that, uh, when things get tough, all they know is to quit. And that's the moment you fail. If you don't quit, you don't fail because you're continuing to move forward. Yeah. But the moment that you, you know, succumb to those feelings and those thoughts and your current life situation, like that's the moment you fail. You'll never fail if you don't quit. Yeah, bro, and that's kind of um Yeah, I I I agree. I agree. I I I've been tired of uh not having the um the credibility because uh our message can help people because we're not saying here's five tips that can radically improve your life um the only thing we've ever done is just talk to each other yeah and uh you also have to think about the people that resonate with the people that say here's the five tips it's like people that are just like radically trying to get ahead you know, it's like they're only they're only solely focused on success. So they're they've entered this like economy. You know, this 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 community of people that are also doing that thing. But it's all uh, and it's all repurposed it's all content that's not theirs. It's like you didn't come up with those tips. Yeah, and that's and that's like that's the <laughs> you know funny what I mean? that's the funny part of it. You know? Like you didn't come up with those tips, and you don't practice them either. Yeah. Like we're I'm real. Like, bro, I haven't meditated and read yeah. in fucking months. Yeah. That's why I feel like shit. Yeah. When I was, I was feeling a little bit better. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It didn't change my life. Right. But it, I felt a little bit better. Yeah. I had a little bit of like yeah. reassurance. Right, right, right. You know? Yeah. But like I haven't worked on myself at all these past couple months. Plus I've been feeling a little lost. Yeah. It's like someone can resonate with that so much better than like, here's five things that can completely change your life today. Yeah. And it's like and I don't the, do that the, myself. And then, and then those guys look down on us, which is funny. But, I mean, hey, cream yeah. rises to the top, bro. I mean, two plus two equals four, so there's three plus one. That's nah, all yeah. I have to say. You the, know? Cream, the cream rises to the top, bro, is, is uh, it's a real thing. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, uh, I'm very radical right now, bro, about, um, I'm, I'm actually becoming uh, arrogant versus I was getting really humble but uh it's it's coming from a place of like i think it's more confidence yeah maybe maybe it is more confidence right it's, it's just, more confidence bro cuz like you can be confident after you put in x amount of work yeah exactly right you know and that's what makes you so good that's that 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 would that help me you know uh i'm probably it's going to be great going back to elco you know, it's going to be, yeah, great. it's going to be bro, awesome, it's gonna, bro. It's going to be great, bro. But yeah, no, just being on that field, bro. It's like, bro, I had no, like, like a little white boy, you know, from Huntington, like being on that field. We're going to, you're going to see it, bro. Inglewood Avenue and Crenshaw Boulevard. That's where the school is being yeah. on that field. And like, bro, like you can ask anyone that I've ever played with. They were just like, this kid's fucking insane. You know, I know it, you know, and it was like, it came from, you know, that was something that I feel like we've personally been missing, you know. It's been, we've just been so grateful and honestly a little nervous, bro, because we never really saw success, you know. But now it's kind of getting to the point where 
you know, it's like, bro, it, it, it is what it is. Like, bro, you watch enough film, like, like you said, like, bro, your preparation, like, makes you confident, you know? And that's kind of where I'm getting at. And that's even, like, a, something that I'd say to God is, like, bro, I'm extremely grateful for everything you've done for me. But, like, you watch me every single day. And, like, I don't waste a day. I don't waste a fucking, I, I don't waste a day anymore, bro. I do not waste a day. And um, I, I am, am just, I, I just know that whatever... Whatever it, it, whatever success is going to require out of us, we're going to do, and um, maybe that's what it is, right? Like ch- changing that like fear of fear of um, fear of fucking fear, you know, and just turning it into uh, let our preparation speak for itself. Yeah, you know? maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I gotta pee so bad, bro. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I just want to close with this. Go for it. Um, it's kind of the. Uh, the aura of the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, I was watching Monte uh, Monte Teo speak. Oh, nice about his situation with the with the fake girlfriend. Yes, yeah. yes. And he said, like, he was sitting on the on 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 his bed mm-hmm. on the edge of the bed, like looking across his bed, screaming at God. Mm-hmm. You know, why the why would you do this to me? I've I've dedicated my entire life to you. I've done everything for you, right? Like, why would you do this? When and and the moment I went through this, like, you weren't there, right? So he uh, he tried to type in uh, "Footprints in the Sand" by Leona Lewis, which was a song at the time, very famous song. Obviously, she's a famous singer, mm-hmm. and uh, he said a poem came up first, and he said he clicked on it. Something made him click on it, right? And it was this this famous poem called "Footprints in the Sand," and it's uh, it goes on, and and it, and uh, at the end of the poem, the guy asks, he says, you know. The entire time, I would always see two people's footprints in the sand. And I always thought, you know, it was you and you and me, God. Why at the end, I only saw one person's footprints? And God told him, he said, because I was carrying you that entire time. And he said that was the moment for him that it clicked. And he was like, God's been with me this entire time. In your darkest times, like God's carrying you through that. You're not doing it with him. He's carrying you through that. And that was just a thing for me where like, obviously I'm not the most religious guy and stuff like that, but I was just like, damn, like a lot of times, like when you in, when you are in your darkest moments, when you are in your lowest of times and you feel like there's no one there for you, like there, there's something guiding you through this. You know, there is something helping you through this. And for the people that, that maybe feel like they don't have anything helping them or guiding them. It's like, just open your mind a little bit, you know, just open your mind a little bit and like, see the thing, see the signs in your life, see the omens that are, that are being placed around you because uh, like there's, there's always something, you know, there's always something like helping you through those, those moments. So yeah, it was just a thing that like, I thought was really cool. I literally saw it like right before I came here. Journey Podcast, episode 1 million. Good shit, guys. 96, episode 100's coming up. Bang.